welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my April favorites. So I have quite a bit of products here that I really just want to share with you guys. Like everything in this makeup bag I kind of want to talk about. But I'm definitely just going to pick the ones that I was using uh, the longest. And we'll go from there if that makes sense. So yeah, again, a lot of products. So we'll just jump right in. So first up is the Kevin and Kwan The Sensual Skin Primer. I have mentioned this before, I believe. And also I've used it in a few videos. So I will go ahead and link that for you down below. But I absolutely love this. I'm actually out of it. Like if you... If you pump this, there's nothing, there's, there's nothing. <laughs> so I love this. And I know it's called a primer, but I use it as a face moisturizer and it works really well. I do have some dry patches around my mouth and also kind of like right here in those areas. But this it does an amazing job on keeping my face moisturized and, you know, doesn't kind of make those dry patches go away it doesn't look flaky so i really love this product again i'm all out so it's definitely something that i'm gonna have to repurchase it's really really good um it's also really good for mixing in your foundation so if you think your foundation is a little bit too heavy you can mix a little bit of this with that foundation and it's gonna make it a little bit thinner and just kind of like a tinted moisturizer or like a lighter foundation it's really really good for that um i highly recommend this product it's it's amazing okay Next is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now, I was obsessed with the Makeup Forever one, but ever since I got this, oh my lord, this stuff is bomb. Like, I used it before and after my makeup, and I feel like ever since I started using this, it might also be the primers and the foundation that I'm going to mention next, but ever since I started using this, I feel like my foundation looks so much better. It looks more natural in a way like the finish looks a lot better in person doesn't look cakey also my foundation lasts like all day long so yeah like i said it could be this or it could be the foundation and a primer that i'm gonna mention next but this stuff is good i love it okay for primers i use two different kinds and i use them both at the same time yes i'm extra that way <laughs> so this is the Hourglass Veil. It's a mineral primer oil free. It's amazing. I love this so much. It really makes my face feel really nice and smooth and perfect for like, you know, my foundation to go on. It's just, ugh, I love this primer. It's like very lightweight. It doesn't clog up my pores. Oh my goodness, a side story. I was using the Benefit Professional um, earlier last month again because I felt like my pores were really large and I wanted something to minimize them so I was using that and after a week I broke out you guys it was crazy because I wash my face every single day like crazy you know like I do my whole skincare routine every single day but I still broke out and it was because of that primer my pores were so clogged it it was ugh I hate it it was awful, it makes me sad. I still have a few spots left from that breakout, but thankfully my skin is getting a lot better. Um, so anyways, I stopped using that and I'm like, never again. It just clogs up my pores and breaks me out. So lately I have just been using this one from Hourglass and I love it so much. It does such an amazing job on just smoothing out my skin, just making it look really good. Also it's oil free, so it does prevent me from you know, getting oily on my nose. Okay, and then the other primer that I've been loving is this one from Amazing Cosmetics. I don't hear a lot about them or even a lot about this primer, but this primer is awesome. So this is the Line Smoother and Primer. I like using it on my smile lines because I do tend to crease there over time and also right underneath my nose. My foundation always tend to break up in those areas, um, you know, from the creasing and stuff. But ever since I started using this, I don't experience any of that. I love this so much. I do apply this on my nose as well and it kind of minimizes my pores because it's kind of like that. I wouldn't say it's really silicone -y. It's a little bit lighter than silicone. I don't know. It's really good. I like it. I, I, I use it on my face. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't clog up my pores. Love. For foundation, this is the one I'm going to mention. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the color Cream Beige. I did a Get Ready With Me video using this, so if you would like to see how it performs or how it applies, I will go ahead and leave that linked down below for you guys and also in the cards. But this is an amazing foundation. For the price, you really cannot beat it. 
It doesn't claim to be anything except that it's good in photos and videos and stuff like that. But seriously, this is good. Like, they should write oil-free on this because I feel like I never get really oily with this foundation. And also lasts all day long. I would say it lasts about 8 hours, which to me is really, really good. It gives me just enough coverage. It's definitely buildable. So right now I do have it on. I just have one layer of this on. And I think it looks pretty dang good. It's pretty full, you know? So I really like this so much. Next we have this powder. I've had this for forever now. I think this is going on one year. Um, this is the Lancome Dual Finish and it is in the color Matte Sand 3. I love this. Uh, I was looking at my powders and I'm like, I want something that's mattifying but doesn't look cakey. Um, just something very natural and I have been using this one and I just love it. So yeah, this is my favorite powder at the moment. It just looks so good and just kind of gives me a flawless look without looking cakey, you know? So I even use it on my under eyes and it prevents my under eyes from creasing and all that. So I've been really enjoying this powder. Okay, for bronzer, oh my goodness. I finally got my hands on this guy. It is bomb, you guys. Ugh, my favorites. Oh my gosh. So this is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. You guys know I love hourglass powders, so when I got my hands on this bronzer, I just about died. Like, it's so, so, so freaking good. It is what I have on right now. It's definitely something that I can contour with, bronze up my face with. It's so good. I Again, I have it on right now, and I feel like it looks good. It makes me look bronzy and just like, ugh. I just love the glow that it gives me. I think it's so good, and it looks natural, so... Highly recommend this bronzer. Next is blush. I have been using this non-stop. It is the one from Marc Jacobs. It's in the color Kink and Kisses. I love this. Look at the color. It's so beautiful. I just like put my brush in there and go into town and just apply it on. I don't have it on right now, but this is so good. This just really gives you that perfect flush of pink it's just so good and you can definitely build it up like this is really really pink but if i don't want anything too crazy i go in on this side more which is kind of like that peachy pink color it's so beautiful it does have a bit of a sheen to it but nothing too crazy i just love this blush you guys like it's so good so good okay for highlight, I'm still in love with this guy from Jouer. This is the Rose Gold Highlight. I don't have it on right now, but this is something similar though. Um, but yeah, I love this highlight from Jouer. It's so good. If you haven't tried Jouer um, Cosmetics highlighters, you definitely should. They're definitely my favorites. This and the Hourglass highlighters are bomb and also Makeup Forever. Seriously, those are like my top three. Um, I, just, I just love. For concealer, I have been loving this guy. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I have it in the color Ginger. Now, it's in a pot. I didn't think I would love it as much. I apply it underneath my eyes with a brush. And then I just blend it in with a sponge. It's so good. It doesn't crease. It doesn't look cakey. I thought it would look cakey because it is matte. Um, like, I thought it would look cakey or, like, hard to blend in. But it's not. It's so good, you guys. So if you haven't had a chance to try this, you should. It's so, so good. Like, I recommend this so much. Okay, for lashes, if you haven't noticed, I haven't been wearing falsies in like forever because I have been doing serums on my lashes, trying to really get them long again because getting lash extensions last summer ruined my lashes. That's a whole other video on its own. Anyways, I've been using serums lately, so I haven't been using false lashes. So I've just been using mascaras and just like really lifting my lashes and stuff like that. So anyways, this is my favorite mascara like ever. So this is the Dior Show Mascara. I know it's pricey, but I honestly love it. And I've been using it for like a month or two now and it's still good. So I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, I just love it. It doesn't clump up my lashes. It, like, lifts them and curl, keeps the curl. So, I'm obsessed. Like, it just... Ugh. I love it, but I don't like the sticker price. But they do have this at my Ulta now. So, I'm like, okay. 
I'm okay with that because then I can use my points whenever I buy this. So it's not so bad. You know what I mean? So I guess I love this mascara. Definitely something I'm gonna have to repurchase. Yep. Last thing is this guy from Bobbi Brown. This is the Art Stick Liquid Lip. And it's in the color Honey Bear. It is what's on my lips right now. It's actually what I have been wearing in my last few videos. And I always get questions about it. It's this guy. I love it so much. I really have been enjoying these guys from Bobbi Brown. Again, it is what's on my lips right now. It's like a matte ish finish like a satin i guess you would say it's very comfortable on your lips it's not drying it's so good it does last um for a pretty long time but you know like whenever i eat or drink it does come off a little bit but nothing too crazy where it's like oh my gosh you need to totally reapply you know so i really really like this it's so good it's like a weird like squeezy tube type of deal but i kind of like it at first i'm like what is that well, you know because it's, it's different but it's so good you guys so i recommend these check it out check it out okay and that is it for beauty favorites you guys i know that was a lot but now on to my two favorite fashion picks for the month i guess yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so first up are these flats. I've shown these to you guys, like, I feel like in every single video so far, but I'm obsessed with them. And they're so cheap, so I highly recommend them. They are flats that I found on Amazon, and they're so comfortable. Usually, I have to put insoles in my flats to make them really comfortable, so I'm, I don't feel like I'm walking straight up on concrete, you know what I mean? But these are super comfy, so I highly recommend them. They're from Amazon. I will link it for you guys down below. So inexpensive, and they do come in other colors as well. So I'm thinking about actually getting them in other colors. But I love this color, nude. Y'all know I love I love my nudes, as you can see. So yeah, definitely check these out. And also this guy right here. This is another item that I've just been kind of wearing non-stop is definitely kind of my go-to bag at the moment it just matches with everything I love this gray color I think I said it's moddy gray in my last video but it is actually cashmere gray I believe yeah I think that's the correct color of this but it's just the Chloe bag that I have it's so cute I love it like ugh, it just fits my necessities and I'm good to go and also like, I usually put all my stuff in this big compartment, but there's also, like, this pocket right here. So, like, my lip gloss, like, extra cards or something like that, I can just shove in there easily. And, yeah, it's just, it's pretty roomy, actually. So, I like it a lot. I love this bag. Alright, so, on to TV shows. You guys know I love talking about shows that I have been watching for the month and stuff like that. Well, I discovered True Blood. Um, one of my friends recommended it, and I was like, okay, I'll check it out. Oh my gosh, where have I been? It is so good. I'm so sad. It's like over, over. Um, I literally watch season one to season seven in a matter of, I think, about two weeks. So yeah, I binge watch. Like, I just have it playing in the background every time I'm like working and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I highly recommend it. If you have Amazon Prime, you can totally watch it for free on Amazon. Except for the season 7, you have to pay. You have to have HBO for it. But that is where I watched mine. And it's so good. Oh my gosh. The ending though, I, I don't know. I'm kind of... I don't know how I feel about the ending. Kind of sad on how it ended. Um, but, you know, it was still like a cute ending. But it's like I have mixed feelings about it because... Bill was one of my favorite characters of the show, Bill and Eric, and it's just like, I don't know. I don't want to like ruin the show for anybody, so I'm not going to say it, but I just have mixed feelings about the show. Let's just leave it at that. But it's still really, really good. I highly recommend it. Jane the Virgin is finally back, which makes me so happy. That show just, ugh. It just makes me laugh every time I watch it, and it's so good, and just, I love it, you guys. Like, Jane the Virgin is definitely one of my favorite shows. Also, Pretty Little Liars is back, which makes me very, very happy. Uh, what else have I been watching? I don't know what else I've been watching. Oh, White Princess, I'm still watching that. I love so much. Also, Once Upon a Time. Uh, yeah. Hmm. 
the wedding and once upon a time the musical episode was so cute let me know what you guys thought i know some people didn't really like it but i enjoyed it so much thank you all so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this i do have a giveaway going on right now if you didn't know i will leave it um, down below and also in the cards up there so definitely check out the giveaway and you know win a planner the planner is super super cute please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it really helps out my channel and lets me know that you like these type of videos so i know that you know i should do more of them also if you haven't please do subscribe i would love to have you back here on my channel i do upload every tuesdays and fridays and plan with me sundays again thank you so very much for watching i love you guys so 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 much and i hope to see you in my next video Bye!